through a federal regulation that could have a devastating effect on low income and elderly patients across the country, including right here in Acadiana. It's a cut to the 340B drug pricing program, which provides Medicare Part B drug payments to hospitals. 340B allows hospitals to get discounts on prescription drugs to provide free or low cost medications to patients with cancer, HIV or other life threatening conditions. Some in the drug industry claim the cut will lower drug prices and save money for Medicare. But as Kendra LaFleur reports, some health care providers disagree, and now they're getting support in Congress. Lafayette General Health operates seven satellite facilities offering vital services to low-income patients. My perspective, it's about the patient. For me, it's all about the patient. Craig Artigo with Lafayette General Medical Center argues the 340B program provides savings, allowing them to operate the satellite facilities, most of them in rural areas. Our system benefits from the savings for about $12 million a year, and we, that savings allows us to open up these satellites and allow these cancer patient, patients to be treated from home. But if cuts are made, Artigo worries patients will be left with few options. 50% of our patients that we treat in oncology as a whole are Medicare, which means older. And then 23 plus percent is Medicaid, which means poorer or indigent or really don't have incomes. Um, they cannot afford to go uh, to Texas or to, um, to New Orleans or what have you to get cancer treatment. These concerns are being heard by some in Congress who are working on a bipartisan bill to preserve the program that includes Congressman Clay Higgins, who calls the 340B program a sound federal investment that is self-sustaining. When you're fighting cancer, you're fighting for your life. And these treatments are very taxing on the body. And um, it's very difficult um, being ill and as ill as they are to travel and to you know, get financial help. The bipartisan bill opposing the cut could be considered as early as this week. In Lafayette, Kendra Lafleur, KTC TV3. Here's Eric's 24-hour.